Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 12 changing times textbook solutions and explanations. The purpose of this video is to make kids understand. Students are rec highly recommended to write their own answers. Here in this chapter, changing times, we are going to see how houses were built over a period of time. You all know that ancient days, people lived in caves, trees, barks. Then slowly they started to build their own houses with the products which is available. Next, after which they built houses with bricks, cement. Here we are going to see how times are changing in the life of a man. So these are the different types of houses, pakka house, kacha house, tent, caravan, houseboat, igloo. Pakka house is the permanent house which is made from cement and bricks. Kacha house is made from mud and tent and caravan are temporary houses. Houseboat, houseboat you can uh, see in the place of uh, houses like uh, water areas like uh, Kerala. Igloos are uh, seen in the place of snows, snow areas. Next, we will see how India got freedom from the British rule. So, after many struggle, India got independence on 15th August 1947. You all, the, you all know that British rule was between 1858 to 1947. After many struggles and uh, fight, uh, after uh, many struggles of freedom fighters, India got independence. During this period, there was a partition made that is India and Pakistan. At the type of independence, there was India and Pakistan. You can see in the picture, the Pakistan is West Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh was East Pakistan. After 1971, it was again divided into Pakistan and Bangladesh. So, as of now, you can uh, just uh, uh, rem uh, remember how India got partitioned during the time of independence. Next, we will see the story of Chetan Das. This is a story about Chetan Das. A big move. When Chetan Das was 9 years old, uh, 60 years ago, that is, he is right, telling this uh, story during his 70 years. So, 60 years ago, um, almost uh, he is uh, 69 now. He lived in Dera Gesikan in Pakistan. He lived in a place called Dera Gesikan in Pakistan. There were a lot of problems. Uh, many people left their village and they moved to another place. Likewise, Chetanda's family also moved. He moved with his father, mother, brother, sister to a place near Delhi. Like them, many people moved to different places. So, many people from India also moved to Pakistan and uh, from Pakistan also, they, many people moved to India. After this all happened because India and Pakistan were partitioned. After moving, they stayed in a tent. So, they were staying in a camp. They lived in tents which were put in a ground. These are temporary uh, houses which were uh, arranged by the camp. Then, after few days, his father told that they have given our land in Sohana village. That is, uh, that Sohana village is in Haryana. All were happy about new houses. They all planned to build a new house. His father, mother worked hard to build a new house. Children also helped them. They built their own house. Her mom bought cow dung from the nearby houses. She mixed with the mud and coated the floor to keep the insects away. So, she is uh, mixing the mud with the cow dung to keep the insects away. His father made frame with wood and he used neem and kika trees in the wood so that termites would not harm the wood. So, he was uh, arranging frames with the wood. These wood were made of neem and kika trees. You can see the neem tree and kika tree. So, these uh, two trees prevent termites from harming them. So, they were uh, built 
this type of house with the available materials they had. So you can see Haryana and Delhi. So they moved from Pakistan to Haryana. Next, find out and write. Talk to any of your grandparents or any other elderly person. Find out when she or he was 9 or 8 years old. Where did she or he live? You can ask your grandparents where they lived at their young age. So, they, they would have lived in a village or town. You can ask them. From what material was her or his house made? His house would have made with mud, straw, wood, rope and bamboo sticks. Next. Did they have a toilet in their house? You can write whether they had a toilet in their house. No, did not, they did not have any toilet in their house. In which part of the house was food cooked? They had a separate kitchen to cook food. And previous in some houses, they might have not had a separate kitchen. They might have only one uh, room where they used to have a kitchen. Next question. A lot of mud was used when Chetanda's house was made. Why? Because mud protects the house from cold and heat. So this was the material they had. So they built their house with a lot of mud. Next, a changing house. Next, time passed quickly. Chetandas finished his studies and he got job. His father and mother wanted him to get married. But before marriage, he planned to build his house with cement, uh, cement and bricks. Here he used uh, bricks for walls. These bricks were unbaked bricks. So, what is unbaked bricks? You can see in the picture. So, these are unbaked bricks. These were the bricks available during that period. So, they used these bricks to build their houses. So, this was very easy when compared to the previous uh, house. Here, they can uh, whitewash the walls once in a year. They had uh, a big uh, kitchen. The kitchen had a mud kulcha where uh, they used to place uh, vessels so they were living very happily in this houses because uh, they had a wood house and uh, they also had a separate toilet in their house which is behind the house which is also made with unbaked bricks chetandas tells that people from the basti used to come to clean the toilets and take away the waste. They were not allowed to enter inside. So during that period, there were uh, some people who used to clean the toilets. First question, the people who use the toilets did not clean them. Discuss. You can also discuss why the people who use the toilets do not clean them. Because uh, it is unclean and dirty, and uh, people might think it is, it is an inferior task. Is there a toilet in your house? Who cleans it? Yes, there is a toilet in our house. We clean it ourselves. Next, more changes. So, after uh, that brick house, Chetandas had two sons, Montu and Raju. And another one daughter named Simi. Simi got married and she uh, moved to another place called Palwal. When Raju was getting married, they thought that they should get ready for a new house. So, they used baked bricks. Previously, they used unbaked bricks. Here, they used baked bricks. And they also used uh, lentil for the roof. They used marble chips and cement for a strong and fancy floor. In the toilet, they uh, used pipes to take away the waste. The kitchen was made bigger. Now, Raju's wife does not use the old clay kulha. She stands while cooking on the gas stove. So, this is how there is a change in their house. Next, seeing new things. Now, Chetanda's younger son Montu moved to Delhi when he got a job there. 
now montu stays there with his family suman and uh, chetandas used to stay with montu's place for some year and uh, with raju in sohna for the rest of the time so after few years they renovated the toilet and bathroom they used colored tiles in their bathroom so they spent so much in their building now he is 70 years old in all these years he has seen so many changes he is thinking that he don't know where his grandchildren would live and how their house will be so he was wondering he was thinking about his previous old uh, houses he also thought how about all his friends and where will they be he was thinking about his friends next what material have been used in making a house you can write the material used cement bricks sand iron rods wood tiles etc have been used in making our house find out the material from which your friends house is made is there any difference write about it you can write your how your friends house is made is there any difference so some might uh, have a different flooring some might have different types of uh, structure you can write the difference in them next what kind of house do you think chetandas grandchildren will live in so they would uh, live in a modern structure uh, house with which is made up of cement steel concrete wood next question where would you like to live when you grow up what kind of house would you like to have so you can think about how you want your house would be i would like to live in a city where i can easily get all primary facilities like education medic medical and jobs so i would like to live in a big pakka house you can write your own thinking next you had written about the things that your grandparents house was made of has some of those material been used in your house name them so only wood is used in the current house next question people are given names according to the work they do for example a person who works with wood is called carpenter in your place what do you call a person who works with wood a person who works with wood is called a carpenter now you can look at the picture and fill the table so here you can see different people working different uh, work what tools are they shown using in the picture write them in the given table you have to fill this table work tool what is the person called construction of roof top trowel here i have uh, given the picture trowel that person name is mason mixing of cement and sand is by the tool spade he is the person laborer fitting of electrical wires they use a tool like drilling machine screw driver the person name is electrician fitting of pipes they use tool like pipe cutter flyers and wrench the person name is plumbers with your teacher or someone from home go to a place where a building is being constructed talk to the people working there and find out answers to these questions you can uh, go to a place where uh, where a uh, building is constructed and you can find out these answers what is being built there a large multi story building is built there so you can see the people working there how many people are working there you can uh, just write 100 or 200 next what kind of work are they doing some people might be mixing the sand and uh, cement some people might be welding the iron rods and a few might be carrying the construction material from one place to another and few may be operating different machines like cranes bulldozers or any other mixing machines next how many men and women are there you can uh, find out these there might be some if it is a big uh, construction going on you can expect 150 men and 50 women if there is a small construction you can expect uh, 50 men and 20 women are there any children working there what are they doing no children were not working there how much money do these people get paid daily 
ask from any three different people so you can uh, find the amount be amount being paid to them mason would get uh, rupees a thousand it depends from place to place labor from 300 to 500 carpenter would be 300 and uh, crane driver would be 1500 next where do these people live some people might be living in the same place or they would have uh, built a temporary house it depends the, the same answer is given here some people live in the tents near the construction place and some people might go to their houses which is nearby what are the material being used for making the building cement sand iron rods wood bricks concrete are being used for making the building try and guess how many trucks of bricks and bags of cement will be used for making the building so you can uh, guess it is um, thousand truck of bricks and uh, 50,000 bags of cement it depends upon upon the type of or how small the house is how big the construction is next how do the material reach the building site by truck handcart any other vehicle list them so you can uh, list the vehicle name like truck tempos find out the price of one bag of cement might be rupees 400 this also depends upon the place from each places it might be different one brick might be five rupees one truck of sand might be rupees six thousand to ten thousand ask a few other questions and write their answers you can ask few more questions like how are iron rods used for constructing buildings because uh, they gives strength to the building what is the use of cranes at construction place these uh, cranes are used to lift and move materials and supplies to the during construction you can ask few questions and write the answers over the 60 years different materials were used at different times in chetanda's house list these in the correct order first they were uh, living in mud uh, house which has a bamboo wood frame they also used a cow dug next they moved to a house um, with um, unbaked bricks then they used um, marbles so this is how they used uh, different materials in different times in Chetanda's house you can list them next let us make houses divide the children in classes into three to four groups so let each group make a model of different house you can use a mud wood paper piece of cloth shoe boxes match boxes and colors you can use different types of houses place all the houses so as to construct a neighborhood colony this is an activity see i have given a sample uh, picture first one is normal uh, like a mud house second one is made with the uh, shoe boxes third one is made with the uh, table cloth and uh, fourth one is made with the uh, mat sticks and fifth one is made with the uh, match boxes you can also try different type of houses and collect all the houses to form a neighborhood colony So in this chapter you learnt uh, different types of houses, how uh, different uh, types of houses were uh, changed during uh, over a period and you also learnt uh, the partition of India. Hope this video is useful and understanding. Please leave a comment about this video. We will see in the next video. Thanks for watching.